In today's video, I graded the worst conditioned Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up guys, we're back with another return video. We have a box from BGS where I sent in, I don't even remember how many, there was like five cards that were in absolutely horrible condition. Now I have seen Leonhardt do this for Pokemon and I thought this would be really funny to see. And I picked out some of the worst condition cards I had available on hand and there's some pretty bad stuff. Before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two damaged cards because it's a damaged video. We have an ultimate rare Supreme Arcanine Magician and a Nobleman of Cross out they have some creases they've got some some stuff on the back i mean they're pretty bad condition in honor of this video so just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you want to see from this return i mean what do you think the worst grade is going to be let me know in the comments and yes i did purchase subgrades so we could see the all the terrible terrible scores we're going to get also speaking of giveaways i just announced them on the community tab i'm going to be trying to do those every friday so that way you guys know when to look on the community tab so go check that out see if you guys want anything i've already shipped out tons and tons of giveaways recently let's get into the video all right our first card i think i remember sending like a nice card with these and i think this might be it because we have a oh this thing's shiny. what is this is that a silver label isn't that a good great wait do they cover them up now oh wait what what is this altered we have an altered gray whoa what in the world we have a gatling dragon ultimate rare this is a really nice card but as you can see it is not a nice condition card so the card has like almost you know it's almost poked all the way through right there the back has the normal scuffing mixed with tons of you know creases dents i mean this thing is in terrible terrible condition i mean this would definitely be damaged like in terms of like tcg player grading but i have no idea what kind of grade it'll be at bgs i decided to go with bgs basically because of all the different subgrades and it'll be fun to see so as for centering that's the thing that like can still hold up and be a decent number it's still pretty off centered honestly so it's probably going to get like a maybe like a eight or something on centering maybe 7.5 it could be a little bit better but then you go to corners i mean that corner is destroyed that corner is not too bad Bad. but with a corner like that honestly maybe the corners will be like a like a four or a five something like that i guess you can do point point fives as well i'll go with five on the corners because there's one terrible one the other ones don't look that bad when you get to the surface that is when you are really in big trouble i mean this thing is like poked through i'm gonna go with like a. I mean, can you get much worse than this maybe like a 2.5 on the sit on the surface and then we gotta look at edges edges are i mean there's some creases on part of them but does that count for edges i really don't know how that can i'm just gonna go with like a low like a like a 3.5 how about a 3.5 on the edge no maybe they're not that bad maybe i'll go with a four on the edges we'll go with that we'll see how those predictions do i'm just throwing darts at a board blindly right now i've never actually graded anything like this which is why this is going to be so interesting to see right now when you guys get to see the results <laughs> gatling dragon altered okay this is what it says we got a little thing here which is always really cool they only do this on certain they don't do this with every grade but they have uh what what is it saying evidence of color added why why would i add color i mean it's definitely possible it's in such bad condition where's the color added i'm not seeing it where's the color added no an authentic altar <laughs> we can't get the worst grades if they're just authentic no gatling dragon very damaged it's not going to get a low score because it's been altered apparently all right well that means that's kind of sad i was i was really hoping for like a, a 1.5 or something i don't know what it is i mean it's, it has an altered thing which is kind of cool i mean that's that's pretty cool an altered card i'm surprised they put it in a slab like that that's pretty cool all right we're definitely off to a unique start which is kind of what we were hoping for in this video i guess uh, next up, we have another silvery looking label. This is definitely not a good condition card. Look at the back of that thing. I can't wait to see. I thought they actually one sec for a second. I thought this was used to like cover up the grade. I was like, that's really cool. And then I realized we can just use it that way. So we'll just go like this. We can just, uh, we can just stick it on there. It has a little sticky part like this and it is a dark magician. Look at that. Thank you, Beckett. Very helpful. Dark magician. I mean, look at that top edge. It's just completely like scruffed together. It is absolutely terrible. Corners are all bent up. The edges are good. This is really bad edges, like where the edges are just like, I mean, look at that. There is just 
no straight edge at all. Nothing about it is a straight edge. Crease all the way through the card, basically. This card is probably gonna get something pretty bad. A centering, I'm gonna go with eight on that. I mean, the centering is, doesn't really matter when a card looks like this. With edges like this, I think these edges are like a one. Like it's hard, maybe like a 1.5. We'll go 1.5, because I think it could get maybe a little worse, but not too much worse. Uh, surface, we're looking at, I mean, with a crease like that, and then that stuff on the surface, I mean, we're looking at like a, another, maybe a 1.5 as well on the surface. Then you look at these corners, they're literally all, that's the best one right there. The top right, that's the best corner you got. The rest of them, I mean, look at that thing. I mean, they're basically gone. That's like a 1.5 corner. So this might be like a one point something. Like this might, you know, even with that eight centering, that's gonna be a really terrible card. Okay, we can do two grades at a time. So we have centering. 8.5 edges, 5.5? These edges are 5.5? What? No way. Okay, what's the rest? Corners, three, and surface two. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We got a three, a very good three. How is this a very good three? How? How? This is what I've always heard. PSA is much more strict on the lower grades and Beckett, once you get below like nine and 8.5, they're like very like generous. I mean, this getting a 5.5 on edges. I mean, what do the edges need to look like to get below a five? I mean, they look terrible. Look at them. They're all white all the way around. I really have no idea. A 5.5 seems extremely high. Got another card. This one actually looks, this one looks nice. Maybe this is our nice card that we sent in, which it's silver. So nothing to really get too excited about. Let's see. Okay, we have, oh, the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Here is the Blue Eyes White Dragon that I pulled with Leonhardt like two years ago, and I never graded it because it wasn't quite uh, like a PSA 10 candidate or anything. This was a card that we pulled. It has a little bit of a, what do you even call this? It's like a little lift or something right there on the top left corner. So that's gonna, that's gonna hurt the edges a little bit. The back looks pretty good. The centering's not so good. So that's where we're kind of losing it. Those, that's gonna hurt the, I think that'll hurt corners, not edges. I mean, edges, not corners, I should say. So the corners look pretty good overall. They're probably like 9.5, but the edges with that lift are probably gonna be like an 8.5, something like that. And then the centering is definitely not good. It might be an 8.5 or a nine. I'll go with nine and be optimistic. So we'll say 8.5 edges, nine centering, Corners probably 9.5 and surface is honestly really, really nice. I could see it getting like a 9.5 or 10. We'll go 9.5 because 10 is really difficult. So we'll get 9.5, 9.5, 9, 8.5. So probably like a nine overall for lucky and that would be pretty nice. Let's see what it got. I mean, it didn't get a 10. Centering is going to be bad, I think. Centering got an 8.5. Yeah, they're brutal on centering at Beckett. Like a lot, I used to like want to send in like minty cards that were off center, but every time I do that, I get like an 8.5 centering. So it doesn't even matter. I still get a nine. Nine edges. See, like this is a nine edges, that other one's a 5.5. Is there really only a three and a half point difference? It seems insane. Okay, what's the next two scores? We have uh, 8.5 corners. What in the world is this? Every time I grade with Beckett, like seriously, like I said, like a nice card in, I get destroyed. So this is another reason I don't really use them. That is rough, dude. An 8.5, this card is packed fresh. Surface is beautiful. Golly, that is... <laughs> Ooh, that is rough. This is, uh, okay. I guess it fits in the damage card theme because it's a terrible grade. Okay, they flipped them over for some reason. I got a mini spoiler of what this card is. I didn't completely see the grade, but it didn't look good from what I saw. Let's see if it gets better than that. Uh, I already forgot, honestly. <laughs> I forgot what it was. I mean, we know a little bit from the, that's what I hate about the colored labels. It's really hard to reveal them without showing it. So this is the Exodia we pulled with Rhyme Style. Quite a bit ago, mid COVID, we were wearing masks and everything that don't believe me. There was plenty of comments on the video about that, but it was an insane poll that a lot of you guys probably have not seen because it has like 30K views, which like for a first set Exodia poll is not that crazy. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, it was peak COVID. Uh, I got to go over to Ron Style's apartment. It was the first time I ever met him. So it was, it was a good time. Surface was pretty good. There was one issue with this card that right there, there's a little bit of a cut on that edge. So that is the reason I did not grade it because it's unfortunate. This card's actually centered for once in a glossy card. So it's not like perfectly centered, but it is pretty centered for a glossy card. Probably still going to get a nine on centering. That edge is definitely going to take it down to probably an 8.5 on the edges, maybe a nine. Uh, we'll go 8.5 because it's probably just going to be an 8.5. Uh, the back surface appears to be pretty good over. We might be, well, there's probably some print. I think there's some print lines in there. Not terrible. Probably going to get a nine on surface. We could get a 9.5. I'm going to go nine because it's, it's in Exodia. They're probably going to grade it a little harder. And then the corners I'll go with 9.5 because they look pretty good. So we're looking at uh, an 8.5, a couple of nines and a 9.5, I think is what I said right there. So, okay. So we have centering 
Eight! Eight! What? Is this worse centering than this? It looks the same to me. It looks the same. I'm not gonna lie. Edge is 8.5. That has the nick, so that, that makes sense. Uh, when we have a 9.5 corners, 9.5 surface for an 8.5, so golly dude an 8.5 i mean that with this one it's reasonable because it does have that nick over there and it probably would have gotten a psa 8 so it makes sense really the centering though i don't i don't get that centering is not that bad like if you're just looking at it you're like an average joe you don't even notice the centering like you're just like oh yeah that car looks awesome that's all i mean that's all you need to say i mean unless it's completely obvious i don't think it should be getting 8.5s but back to the damage cards we got two left that's what we're really doing in this video. Not complaining about getting 8.5s on cards I pulled like two years ago. Here we go. What's the next one? Oh, check this thing out. This has got to be a terrible grade. Look at this. This is the one with the bullet holes. Then we have one that's really interesting. It literally has holes in it, which I thought was funny. I was looking through my cards for anything like damaged I had. I did not do this myself. Like I just found this card with two holes that go all the way through. Yeah, as you can see, like these holes right here, those are literally poked all the way through. It's hard to see on the camera, but yeah, it's like a bullet hole. So a mini bullet got shot through this Yu-Gi-Oh card. Then there's a bunch of bent corners, there's some creases. It's like ruffled. Like this is the absolute, some of the worst condition you could ever see. Service has to be like a 0.5 on this with holes in it. Gotta be like, I think the worst is probably, is it a one or a 0.5? I'm gonna go 0.5 if that's a real grade. Then with the, uh, if we're going with centering, it's pretty off center. We could probably give it like a seven centering. Corners are all bent. So this thing's gotta be like a two on corners. And then edges are pretty awful as well. We'll give them like a three. So that is gonna be a horrible grade. I can't wait to see it. This thing is disgusting condition. Like. If this isn't a one, I don't know what is. I mean, there there's like water damage rippling looking things. There's bullet holes in it. I mean, look at that. It looks like someone took a, took a gun to this card. It's insane. I mean, look at that crease. This thing is disgusting. Look at the back. Your mom threw this thing in the washing machine for sure. This thing is in horrible condition. Let's see what it got. All right, we have centering seven point, edges six, six on edges, 8.5 on edges, six on edges. What in the world? What more do you want? Look at that. Six, a six, this should be a one. I don't get it. I don't understand. How is there a 2.5 difference? Because there's a tiny little cut, which 8.5. I agree. This should be an 8.5. This should be like a two or a one and a half. Look at these edges. A six. And that is baffling. It does not make sense. A six on edges. What? Oh my gosh. I don't get it. Okay, the rest. Corners 2.5, surface one. Okay, we finally got a one. Corners 2.5, let's see. I mean, how much worse? I guess they could all be, okay, that's pretty bad. They're all like that, except that one. I don't know. I don't understand. A very good two. The overall grade, a two. I mean, it should be a one, to be honest. This card's in the worst possible condition, basically. Wow, I, I the six edge, the edge score, Beckett, we gotta work on the edge scoring, like the calibrate that. I mean, th there's no way this is a six on edges. That's insane. I don't get it. I'm gonna try to guess the edges score for this last one. This is a blue eyes white dragon, I think. Starter deck Kaiba. Here we go. This is very similar to the Dark Magician. The corners are worse, I think. I mean, look at that corner. Look at that corner. These are disgusting. I had a blue eyes that's even worse condition than this. My friend actually gave to me a few years ago and I can't find where I put it. So if we ever do a follow-up episode to this, if you guys like this, make sure to let me know and you wanna see more. We'll definitely do that one. It was washed, so it's like floppy. I do wanna grade a card like that at some point, but that's the only one I could find it without manufacturing, like washing my own cards, which I don't really wanna do. So corners here, I mean, we're gonna go with like 0.5 like absolute worst corners you could possibly have i mean they're not they're like rolling it's so bad uh centering will go with like centering is actually pretty good if you can actually sort of see the card probably like a nine or an 8.5 on center. i'll go nine just to you know give it something good then we look at surface it's not like the worst surface it's mostly all around those edges but i mean that's pretty bad back service is pretty mad <laughs> look at that corner yeah 0.5 for sure uh yeah this is pretty bad service is probably like a like a three i would say it's not as it's not the absolute worst, but it's pretty bad. Edges are pretty bad as well. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bad. Edges are really terrible. So we'll probably give this thing like, you know, the nice part about doing the damage cards. I don't have to worry about like, you know, not touching the card because it's like this card's damage. Who cares? Probably give like a 1.5 on the edges. OK, we have a uh, edges are all the way turned up around here. 
I mean, this looks like the last two, which were 5.5s and 6s. So, I mean, I feel like it's going to be around that range. I just need to see something with lower than five. If you have something with like a three on edges or two, I want to see pictures. Send them to me. Horrible, horrible condition. I mean, this is bad. It doesn't have bullet holes in it, though. So there's that. Let's see what they got. OK, edges. I'm guessing 5.5. Let's see what they got. 3.5. How is this one a 3.5? And this one's a six. Look at these edges. They're so much worse. I don't understand. I don't understand. These edges are way worse. Blue eyes. That's why. Blue eyes. Give it a 3.5. Guardian seal, which nobody cares about. Six. That makes no sense. I don't understand. I'm just baffled right now. Honestly, 3.5 is still high for this card. But okay, we got a nine on centering. Yeah, let's go. That's going to really bring the grade up. 1.5 and a 2.5 for another two. Okay, a two, very fair on this. A good two. I mean, getting a, a, a one at Beckett is like impossible. I don't even know how you do it. You gotta get a really off-centered card because the centering is gonna bring it up. You have to destroy the card. You have to grind the edges in the surface, scratch it up. You gotta crumple it up. You gotta, I don't know what you do to the edges. I mean, you gotta take sand. You gotta probably like chop off some triangles or something. Like, I don't even know how you would get edges below a 3.5 because I don't even understand. That is, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be like angry at how high the grades are. <laughs> it's insane. But this was really fun. It was a, it was a good experiment. Definitely expensive, you know, for these cards, which are gonna be worth nothing. But if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. Maybe we can do it at PSA or CGC in the future. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Dax, Search, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu Guan 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.